Hello, today we'll configure related items in quick edit mode, also known as grid mode. It looks more like a actual table rather than usual SharePoint list. So here we have our parent list, example, and here we have our children list. First thing first, we're going to go to the list open list settings and we are going to add a lookup column hmm. I'll just name it parent nothing too fancy All right select lookup here I will select our parent list example in this case and yes I want to have title plus I want to check ID as an additional field all right so we saved this new column here we have it parent and parent ID excellent so we'll first create a new form so we open form designer, we connect to our site, select our parent list. Yes. First you want to design a form. I'll just drop the title since that's the only thing that I have here. And we are going to add the related items. All right, so we go to data source. We select our children list here so in our case it's example children list and here we select show new items only so next step all right uh -huh. we'll need to switch the related items control into grid mode by setting quick edit properly to only and we also need to add CSS class to our related items field. All right, so we copy this code to JavaScript editor, making sure that we have same CSS class and parent field name. And that should work. It has the same name. It's very important here. So as you can see here, we can also use completely, well, any names, and we can populate any fields in our child form but right now we only use parent field just for example here yeah. all right so this instruction tells us how to add id for, to be displayed so we can filter the items so here we'll want to select our children list All right, example children. All right, yes, all, all items and filter by form field. Here we pick ID and here we select parent ID, an additional field that we chose in the list settings. All right, we select quick edit only. All right, yes, this was all done. We need to add CSS class related items. So here we copy related items. In JavaScript we want to add the same code, just populate fields in this grid. We have this CSS class and the parent field, the one we want to populate. It has the same name, very important. So we save it. Mm -hmm. Successfully saved, very good. Now let's go and test, test it. All right, so in our parent list we click new item since we don't have any yet all right now the new form has opened let's add a title here quickly title one it's good all right and here we can add new items child one in this case okay so and we click save all right we can add more 
children, but just one is good. And you can see that parent is not populated yet, but that's okay, it's linking items right now. Let's go to example children list, update it. All right, and you can see here that we have title one as our parent. All right, and just to make sure that our edit form is also set up correctly, we'll go here and we'll add a few more children. All right, let's wait for it to load. Here it is. And I'll add child two. Oh, yep, it automatically populates child three. Yeah, as you can see, it all works. All works correctly. We can add more, but I think this is more than enough for our example. Thank you for watching, and until next time.